Hey guys, Monkey DKS here, and today I have a tutorial on how to use Mix It Up to let you and your moderators know if you're featured on Mixer. I came up with a pretty simple way of letting myself know when I'm featured somewhere using Mix It Up's timers and four fairly simple commands. All of these commands are available as a public Google Sheet, which you can find in the description box below. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as checking every X minutes, because then it will run the check and do something every time, no matter if you're featured or not. So the first thing we have to do is create a text document somewhere on our computer and name it featured.text. Anywhere on your PC is fine. Open that text file and type no in it. Remember how you capitalize it. It doesn't matter if you do it like I do, but you do have to do it the same way everywhere. Billy, you need to not be here. Mm. Now we're going to go into Mix It Up. Make a temp action group, choose Advanced Command, and call it Dummy. We'll add a chat action and write Dummy as the message. I'm doing this instead of working this whole process backwards. It'll make more sense in a minute, but we'll be deleting this command at the end. Also, for the rest of this video, we're always going to be choosing Advanced Command when we create something new. So I'm going to stop pointing that out. Now let's build a timer. Go to the Timers section, set the interval to 5, minimum messages to 0, and press the New Command button. We're going to name this timer Featured Timer and put it in a command group called Featured Timer so everything stays nice and organized. Add a file, read and write action, and select read from file. Browse to where you saved your featured.txt file and select it. Then type featured in the special identifier line. Because we're creating the special identifier now, you do not use the dollar sign. Again, caps matter here, so pay attention to how you use them. Now we need mix it up to compare the special identifier to both yes and no and call another action group based on which one it says. Let's start with the no condition, since we already know that's what it says now. Add a conditional action. The first value is dollar sign featured, and we want to compare if that is equal to no. If it is, we're going to run another action group. That action group is the next one we're going to create, and it will be called check featured now. But since that doesn't exist, we'll just point it at our dummy action group for the moment and save it. We'll add more to this action group later. So now that we've checked our special identifier, we know that five minutes ago we were not featured. Let's check if that's still true or if we suddenly are now. Go back to the action group section and create a new action group. Name it check featured now and add it to the featured timer command group that already exists. Add a conditional action that compares streamer user channel featured equals true with a capital T. Again, this will call another action group that doesn't exist called feature started, but we'll point it at dummy again until that exists. That's all this action group has to do, so we can go ahead and save it. Again, let's create a new action group. Call it Feature Started and add it to the Featured Timer command group. The first thing we want it to do is to let myself and my chat, specifically my mods, know that we're featured somewhere on Mixer. So I'm going to add a chat action saying, Warning, we are currently featured somewhere on Mixer. Then I want to post in my Discord, in my moderator's channel, asking for extra help in case things get out of hand. So I'm going to add a Discord action, choose my mod channel, and write, at here, we're featured somewhere on Mixer. If anyone is available, it's likely we could use a few extra hands. Finally, I want to change that featured.txt file to yes, so it will know that I'm already featured and it won't tell me again in five minutes. So let's add a file, read and write action, and select save to file, which will overwrite what's there instead of adding a new line. 
browse to my featured.txt file, say yes, I do want to overwrite, and save yes as my text. Then we can save and close this action group. Now, that's half of what we need to do. So far, we've tested to see if we were not featured five minutes ago, then checked to see that we were featured now, and announced it to our chat and our Discord, and changed the featured.txt file to reflect that. Now I want to work backwards, because that actually makes things a little easier if you have your action group sequence planned out in advance. Let's make a new action group called feature ended in the featured timer command group. This will have the same actions as the last action group, but they will all be doing the opposite of what they did a minute ago. First, a chat action telling us we're no longer featured. Things should slow down a bit now. Then a discord action to post in our mod channel. Okay, we're not featured anymore. You don't have to drop everything to help, but you're still welcome to come visit. I couldn't do this without all of your support, and thanks to those who are available to help out. Never hurts to say thanks to your mods, right? And one more time, a file read and write action to save to file the word no. So the next time the timer runs, it won't tell us that we're clear again. Go ahead and save that. That one's done. Still working our way backwards towards the timer, we're going to make the opposite of check featured now by making our last action group called check still featured and add it to the featured timer command group. Just like check featured now, this one will have a conditional that compares if dollar sign streamer user channel featured equals false with a capital F and then runs our action group called feature ended that we just made. Save and close that one. Now let's go back and fix our other conditionals so they point to the right things. We'll start back with the timer so it's easier to follow. Edit the featured timer and expand the conditional so you can now use the dropdown to select check featured now. You'll remember that tells the timer that if we were not featured five minutes ago, check if we are now. But this timer also needs to do something if we are featured. So let's duplicate that conditional action by clicking the duplicate button on the action line. On this conditional, we still want to check the dollar sign featured special identifier, but we want to see if it says yes. And if it does, we want to run the check still featured action group to see if the feature is still active or not. That's the timer done. One last action group to update and that's the check featured now conditional action. If we weren't featured before, but we are now, then we want to run the feature started action group. I know it gets a little confusing going back and forth to create the conditionals, which is why if you have your ideas planned out ahead of time, you might be able to save yourself some time by working back to front the entire way. As I said in the beginning, I have a public Google Sheet available with all these commands, as well as the logic tree so you can see how everything relates and recreate it for yourself. Oh, and you can go ahead and delete that dummy action group, unless you might use it for something later. I hope you found this useful. Please make sure to follow me on Mixer at mixer.com slash monkeydks, and thanks so much for watching.